Thank you, uh, the MC. Honorable ministers, the headmistress of uh, Fawe, Sister Eugenie Kairaba, Fawe founder members, board members, um, the representative of uh, Fawe Africa, Ms. Mrs. Uh, Martha Muhezi, distinguished friends and partners of Fawe, esteemed uh, Benebikira sisters, members of uh, the administration, faculty, and uh, staff, valued parents, students, and alumni of uh, Fawe Rwanda, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. What uh, a lovely day it is to be gathered here, still exulting in the momentum of our 20th, uh, 20 years of uh, girls, sorry, the momentum of our 24th Liberation Day and celebrating 20 years of girls' empowerment through education, thanks to the Forum of African Women Educationalists, Fawe Rwanda Chapter. Indeed, Fawe, Fawe has, over the years, strengthened its position as an institution providing quality education for our young girl, women and supporting many brilliant girls from uh, vulnerable backgrounds to obtain a, a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to alter the course of their lives. The theme of this present national conference, which lays emphasis on uh, the role of uh, parents the community and the learner in education is of critical importance and it could not have come at a better time when the world is uh, grappling with uh, new and emerging challenges which require a different approach to education. Even more so as education is the bedrock of development and social, and social uh, uh, stability. Globally, early educators focused primarily on facilitating learning within the confines of rigid, universally established dogmatic teaching protocol in which students were expected to memorize to pass exams rather than being encouraged to develop their capacity for independent intellectual inquiry and innovation. No offense to the people of my generation. We can still adapt. Uh, the role of parents, the community, and the learner in, the, in that kind of education was minimal. Distinguished audience, today let us take a moment to congratulate Fawe Rwanda chapter <clears throat> for its contribution to expanding the frontiers of innovation in the education sector in Rwanda. Let us take stock of the past 20 years the challenges met and the victories reached. Let us acknowledge the leadership of Benebikira sisters whose clear vision and effective coordination efforts helped reinforce the national guiding values for the, for the sustainability of this establishment. Today, we recognize Fawe Rwanda as an institution that helped further bridge the gender gap in education enrollment, retention, and completion by providing scholarship at the secondary level and now at the tertiary level through their new partnership. Fawe has also helped mentor and foster girls into confident and com competent young ladies able to hold their own anywhere in the world. It's my hope that uh, through this conference, all of us as individuals and organizations will continue to advocate for and support initiatives that believe in the education, emancipation, and empowerment of our daughters and sisters. I take this opportunity to thank most sincerely all partners of Power Rwanda and of the education system in Rwanda for your purposely dedication, purposeful dedication to this great cause. Honorable guests, as uh, education is a journey with uh, a series of obstacles, we must stay alert and see ourselves as uh, agents of change. Indeed, all of us in our diverse capacities can provide support to educators and students for us to contribute to a well-educated society ready to take the challenges 
of our times. Uh, for instance, as a collective, we must address the root causes of the high dropout of and repetition rates in schools, standing at 18.4% and 5.7% respectively at the primary school level, and at 11.6% and 6.5% at the lower secondary level. Allow me to take a moment here to share a few examples of activities we at Imbuto Foundation were able to implement thanks to sound partnerships between public and private entities to further promote inclusive and quality education through diverse schools around the country, including far away. Indeed, from projects focusing on the improvement of the performance of struggling learners at the primary school level, as we paired 2,000 students with teachers and mentors through, through uh, learning clubs. The promotion of girls' education as uh, nationwide community campaigns were conducted to reward over 4,800 girls who completed and excelled at different school cycles. The completion of secondary school as we provided over 8,000 scholarships to well-performing but vulnerable students. We were driven by our duty to contribute to the pillars of our national education sector. So today I invite us all to collectively invest more of our time our ideas and resources to create an environment that dispels gender myths and encourages coordination at different levels to ensure our children, the leaders of tomorrow, are truly given a fair chance at a bright future. Distinguished guests, in line with the theme of today's conference, I wish to share my thoughts on the three questions posed, the role of parents, community, and the learner in education. What is the role of parents? The parent is the child's first contact with the outside world, hence the manner in which the parent introduces the child to the world through education is paramount. The physical and emotional conditions in which parents bring up their children will also greatly affect their future cognitive ability to learn and develop. Bringing up a child in a loving, healthy, and peaceful environment with role models of good social values is a prerequisite for stability at home, in school, professionally, and in the community, keeping in mind that while we cannot exhaustively teach our children, a great deal of what they learn is in fact communicated to what they see in our actions and behaviors. While the role of the parents or guardians in the formative stages of a child's life is to provide a conducive environment, guidance and financial means for the student to learn effectively, the role of the learner is to apply himself or herself in order to succeed. In fact, education is not confined to the four walls of a classroom. It's rather cemented at home. I therefore urge us all as parents to remain engaged and invested in our sons and daughters' academic pursuits. Let us also instill in them the continued uh, quest for knowledge, the need to excel, innovate, and set ambition goals and standards regardless of their gender as they subsequently contribute to and value in society is equally appreciated. What's the role of the community? Children like their parents live in communities that are known to shape collective thinking, social norms, and practice. When the messages the child is hearing from the community differs from that of the school, internal conflicts is born within the child on what values to espouse. If the child consistently hears in the community such thing as a boy child is more precious than a girl, that girls cannot do science, that boys must not show emotion, that too much education will compromise a girl's ability to be a good wife or mother, then such a child will set a low ceiling of achievement, settling for second fiddle. Believe you me, you, don't, you do not want to go through life not living to your fullest potential and 
risking to live a life of regrets by missing out on becoming an integral part of this beautiful nation we call home. Uh, what is the role of uh, Dalana? A, re a relatively new way of teaching nowadays is one on, in which the Dalana is responsible for part of the learning process and becomes a partner in their own education. The idea is to, to stimulate continuous inquisitive learning and independent innovative problem solving. We encourage our youth, especially the young girls, to speak up embrace new ideas, explore science and technology, and bring solutions to challenges that we face on a daily basis in our communities and in the country. To our young girls, you are the leaders of tomorrow. I urge you to take full advantage of this nurturing environment built with you in mind. Strive to acquire academic, creative, and leadership skills while at Faway. Seek positive advice and direction from your parents, teachers, and elders. Soak in like a sponge. The education you are so privileged to have, be ambitious, confident, and good role models for your younger sisters and brothers and the communities in which you live. You can and will achieve whatever it is you set your mind to if you are focused, disciplined, relentless, ten tenacious, and consistent. Whenever, you, whenever in doubt, look at Rwanda for inspiration. Who would have known 24 years ago today that Rwanda would stand tall among the nations and be cited in the books of firsts? Are you not Rwandan? Then you bear that imbuto that has brought us to where we are today. Watch and learn, and be the very best that you can be, standing on that great platform from which you were meant to soar the greater heights. Most importantly, remember that there is no end to learning. Education is for life. I wish you all once more a great day ahead and a happy 20th anniversary to Fawe, Rwanda. I thank you all for your kind attention.